You know, I'm going um, I'm gonna go ahead and get another scripture. Let me see. Um, I'm going to keep going on. Uh, this is um, Jeremiah 51 and 12. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen and repair the ambush. And the watchmen or the, the prophets, man. The, uh, um, the brothers that's out there on the highways and byways, man. Preaching the downfall of America, man. That's the, the, the ambush, man. Cause these people, you know, thinking, especially the elites, man, the people over in America, or the uh, the Illuminati, Illuminati, like the Rothschilds, you know, Rockefeller, the super rich bankers, man, they really think they're gonna bring this new world order in, man, by the way of the microchip, which is the uh, mark of the beast. But the Lord set up an ambush, meaning He set up His man to prophesy the downfall of this place and to rebuke them on on a new world order, man. You know, to tell them that they knew what order was going to fail and the great king, Yahweh Shai, is going to come back and put them under his feet, man, and under the nation of Israel's feet, man. Um, For the Lord had both devised and done that which he spoke against the inhabitants of Babylon. Verse 13. Oh, that dwellest upon many waters, abundance and treasure, thy end is come and the measure of thy covenants. So the, the end of America is coming, man. And the, the prophets already seen the end of America, man, through their visions, man, that the Lord gave them. So it's going to happen, man. And, and we right at the time of the destruction of America, man. Um, let's see. Let's see, I'm going to get on. Um, Uh, this is Isaiah 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldean, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And that's America, man. It's the scriptures that's telling America, man, through the words of the prophets, man. You know, by the, by the mouth of the prophets, to lock it. That, you know, that, you know, come sit on the ground, meaning, man, ain't no more rulership, man. That you, your power structure is going to be taken down, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And there ain't nothing you can't do, man. Just go along with it, man, because the Lord is going to bring bring swift destruction, man. And, and he's going to have you heathens in derision, man, thinking that y'all going to defeat his men or defeat Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah himself, man, you know, they self. The Lord you know, going to set y'all up for your own downfall, man, through y'all pride. And this is a virgin daughter of Babylon, meaning America never has been touched, man. America never had war on its own soils by another foreign country, man. But the Lord is going to wait till he send these, you know, troops over here, you know, by way of Russia or, or China, North Korea, or, or, and them nuclear missiles, man, is going to destroy America, man. Uh, verse 2. Take the millstone and grind mill. Uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, and pass over the river. Thy neckness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen, and I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. And the neckness mean on uh, is sins of America, man. Like I say, America got all type of you know sins or uh, abominable acts that take place in here in America, man. That's unrighteous, man. And the Lord is making it, making them naked by the word of his mouth and, and his prophets bringing out these scriptures, man. In the way of the, you know, the internet, you know, you got all the different types of videos, how uh, these people in America, man, how they, you know, acting, man. You know, showing that they're nakedness, you know, the wickedness of America, man. The Americans were once calling themselves a, a Christian country or a God-fearing country. Saying they follow the laws of the Bible, man. But now the Lord is really exposing them how they how America move, man, and how these so called white people, the Edomites move, man, and the elites, man, to find out that these white people ain't the chosen people of the most high, man. 
they are the they are the wicked that the Bible speak of, man. You know, by their actions, man. And the Lord is going to bring destruction on them and, and put them in slavery, man, through his son, Yahweh Shah. And by the hands of his uh, elect men, you know, uh, Israel, man. So you devils, man, they they can't hide no more, man. It was once like trying to be in secret, but the Lord exposed them, man, through the word and you know, and through through the internet, man. And by the words of his word of the prophets, man. You know, you got the you know the prophets out there, you know, talking and you know, shaking a hand, telling them that they about to go down for all their wickedness that they had proclaimed here in America and upon the earth, man. Um and the Lord said he's not going to meet him like a man. I mean, he's coming back in an angelic form, man. They, they can't take him down, man. He's going to come back as a superpower, man. You know, the supreme being, man. And, and, and nobody ain't going to stop him, man. And he damn sure you you white people, man. You, you, you NATO troops or American troops or any other nations, man. The Lord's going to come back with his full strength, man. And more, man. And the Lord can't even max out, man. That's how strong... How Bashim Yahusha is, man. He got no limit to his power, man. And, and when he appeared, man, you nations and, and you know, two thirds of Israel and the elect, man, we're gonna see it, man, at its fullest, man. Um, verse 4 As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, and the Holy One of Israel, sit thou silent and get into darkness, O daughter of Chaldean, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady. Of kingdoms, so the Lord say, you know, get into darkness mean like, you know, all, like I said, all this wickedness, man, that America proclaim, man, it's the way of darkness, man, mean the way of evil, man, you know, wickedness, man, not the way of light, which represent the righteous, man. Uh, verse six, for I was worth walk, I was wroth with my people, and I have polluted my heritage and get them into the into thy hand. And thou showest them no mercy upon the ancient, as thou verily, very heavily laid thy yoke. And the Lord said he give us into the American hand, by the way, uh, the uh, American slave trade, man. When they took the, the so-called Negroes, the West Indians, and the Haitians off the west coast of Africa, and different parts of, you know, Europe, and brought them over here, man, to serve captivity, man. So the Lord said he was wroth with his people, man. And they say he said that they show, show us no mercy, man. From the old to the youngest, man, they was murdering us, man. Feeding us the alligators, hunging us, you know, shooting us, castrating us. Anything that these so-called white people did to destroy us, man, they did it, man. You know, giving our people small parts to, you know, to the Native Americans. You know, all, all type of stuff they done to us that we, you know, they, they didn't even have got their history, man. How they describe the Negro, Latino, Native Americans as a uh, as a nation, man. Taking away our true identity. Not knowing that we are the true Hebrew Israelites, man, that the Bible speak of. They're going to have to pay for all that, man. And by their by they blood, man. Just like how we paid for, for for going against the Heavenly Father, man. Breaking His law, statute, commandments. That's why the Lord sent us over here, man, in captivity. And have you so-called white people, you Edomites, to take us down, man, through our sins, man. Our transgression, you know, of the law, statute, commandment. Now the Lord is coming back to send his send his son, man, and raise up the nation of Israel, starting off with the elect, man, to, to bring judgment upon you Edomites, man, for all the wickedness that you had done here in America and throughout the earth, man. And I said, verse 7, Isaiah 47 and 7. And, and thou says, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to, to thy heart, neither did remember the latter end of it. And that America, man, America think they're going to just keep going on, man, forever and ever, man. Thinking that the Lord forgot about all the wickedness they have done, man. And they say that, man. They say they're going to go on to the year 20, 2020, 2050, 20, uh, 102. You know, they think they're going to just keep going on, man. Not knowing that the Lord gonna bring destruction on this place man and and, and bring 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 the you you edomites down man and, and put y'all heathens in slavery man and the lord said don't even remember the latter end man 
So they don't even thinking about they ain't even think about going down, man. But the Lord's gonna disappoint them, man. Right soon soon he bring you know, send his son back and bring them nuclear missiles over here to scrub this place, man. Um that be it. I'm gonna get another, you know, precept. I'm about to wrap it up. But you know, then these people over here, man, they slow, man. They they just, man, they just, they out of their mind, man. They don't got no care the, in the world about you, how about you, man, with man. You know, brothers like us, man, we praying that the Lord, you know, have mercy upon us so we can escape this judgment, man. You know, because this ain't no, 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 no light thing, man. These people don't have no clue the, about the terror of the Lord, man. And they don't know about how you, how about Shem is going to bring mass death to this place, man. You know, they continue on, you know, going on in their wickedness. They continue on, you know, just, just falling after their fallenness. And, and like I say, man, they just don't have no clue, man. And brothers like us, man, we, you know, we fear, man, because we understand how real this thing is, man. And we pray to you, how about Shem that we escape this judgment, man. And we be found worthy to, you know, rule in his kingdom, man. And, and be, you know, to be delivered. Uh, this is Malachi, uh, verse 4, I mean, chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, say the Lord of hosts, that it shall lead them neither root nor branch. So, you know, when the day, when it's going to burn as an oven, talking about, no, like I said, no nuclear missiles, man. And that's going to come, you know, real soon, man. We right at the end of this place, man. You know, ain't no time to, you know, be playing the games, man. You know, brothers in the truth, man. You know, we, we keep fighting and keep fighting, you know, praying, man. The Lord give us the strength to endure, man. Because, you know, when the missiles touch down, man, we praying that we be up out of here by the way of your house shot deliverance, man, through the chariots, man. Because once the missiles touch down, man, it's going to destroy, destroy the whole land, man. And it's going to leave it neither root or branch, man. I mean, ain't gonna leave nothing over here but desolate areas, man. You know, fire, you know, and brimstone. And after that, man, America ain't even gonna be inhabited again, man. Only thing that's gonna inhabit this, this land is desert creatures, you know, like the um, like desert creatures, you know, wild birds, you know, wild, you know, animals, man, or, or wild beasts. You know, so you know, brothers out there, you know, keep fighting, you know, keep pushing. We almost at the end of this thing, man. You seeing a lot of, you know, prophecies. Come in the past, man. A lot of different events taking place, man. Sooner or later, man, all these prophecies gonna, you know, come to its fold, man. Like the RFID chip, man. The mark of the beast. Or the um, that you gonna have the, you know, the famine of food. You know these race wars, World War Three, and eventually the last prophecies. One of the top prophecies is gonna be destruction of America and Yahweh Shah coming back to redeem. His men, man, starting off with the elect, 144,000 and one third. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. So, brothers, you know, keep fighting, you know, keep pushing, you know, keep praying, you know, keep the laws to the best of your ability, man. You know, cry out to the Lord, man, because how about from y'all shot? He do hear us, man. You know, and the Lord like that, man. So, you know, just keep fighting and keep, you know, praying, man. You know, I'm praying that this lesson, you know, be edified, you know, until the next time, I like to say, um, all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and elders, that great millstone, that rule well, teaching the truth, and the Akim, that's in the doctrine of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, in the true ministry, pushing his word, and until the next time I say, Shalom.